Buddy, Trixie. We are headed over to I'm a Survivor, uh, excited because Mr. Leo, that's the fella who's been doing the clear cutting to all of the, uh, uh, a lot of the property out back, says he's about done. And so we're going to go over and give him his final check. Um, you know, the way that you do it with most of these guys is you pay half up front and the other half when the work is completed. What I also want to do is take my drone and do a flyover. So you know that I do, did a drone flyover the a day or so before they started to show you how it looked, let's just say before. And I want to do another drone flyover today to show you how it looks now that it's all being clear cut. And then in a few months, maybe even next year, next spring, I'll come back by and do a drone flyover to show you how it looks after. So after all of the grasses come out, we just have beautiful pastures. Anyway, it's gonna be a fun day in Plum Grove. You guys come with us. And uh, it's always funner and gooder when you do things with people you love and care about. And uh, today we got Buddy and Trixie along for the ride. <laughs> all right, so y'all come on. Ellie and Megan are taking the dogs for a walk. <laughs> and I know our dogs are going to mess everything up. I'm going to get out with Buddy and Trixie, and they're going to mess everything up for Ellie and Megan. And they're a nice, peaceful feed-up routine. <laughs> it's about to get all chaotic. Yeah, all hell's about to break loose here. All hell is going to break loose. Hi, Chia. Here we go. All hell. Time for all hell to break loose. Oh my goodness. Come on, buddy. I brought buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Ritzy. Hey, Chia. Look at that's buddy. They never met buddy before, have they? Hey, buddy. Those dogs never met buddy, though. Buddy. No? Buddy. Well, here's all of my longhorns, and they're all hanging out. Jolene, I'm about to come over there and feed you. And I hope you're going to be sweet about it. I don't know why they're in that pasture. Um, well, I guess I do know why. Because there's not a bit of grass to eat over here. And look at all that yummy stuff. Look at all that yummy stuff. Oh, here they come. They know. They hear Daddy's voice. They hear Daddy's voice and they know what's up. They know Daddy means feed. I am real happy to see that we have no fly problems today whatsoever. It is hot and dry friends it is hot and dry and uh you can just see the dust in the air every time the wind blows it's like dust clouds blow across you this is horrible we well, need some rain here at i'm a survivor so i've been wanting to talk a little bit about some questions that have come up and uh in particular the question about having why are we still keeping ben employed when uh, ellie and megan are living here full time and this is ellie and megan's full-time job and i would say for a couple of reasons number one ben is a big help ben is a huge help i am going to put that up i'm going to put that up whenever these guys are done working i'm going to do a lot of things here once these guys are done working but uh ben is a huge help and ben I'm gonna say this, and it's not to hurt anybody's feelings. So if you're the kind of person who gets your feelings hurt for others, you don't need to. Ben works harder as far as physical labor hard. More, he works harder than anybody who's ever worked here or around I'm a Survivor. Uh, Jamie and I can put in our day's work worth, but it's different because we own and run the place. But as far as physical labor, you give Ben a job and Ben will work his tail off. Ben will sweat bullets and do what he has to get done. Now, will Ben work here forever? Absolutely not. Ben is in college, and Ben is, uh, you know, he's, he's a full-time student as well, but uh, it is summertime, and we do employ Ben, and he works hard. Second reason is Ellie is not 100%, and I don't know how much you watch Ellie's channel, but you know Ellie actually injured himself in an accidental injury, by lifting um as dumb as that sounds 
people get injured by working out, by lifting incorrectly or by lifting too much weight. And Ellie did something to a couple of the discs in his back. Don't ask me to. Jamie can tell you exactly what he did. And the numbers, you know, all that kind of stuff is numbered. But the L something, the L something. And so Ellie has some injured disc in his back. And he's only able to do so much using his back. And so before you start saying things about Ellie and this and that, listen, Ellie has stopped playing football. He stopped doing all the physical things that he used to do, the basketball pickup. He stopped doing anything. And uh, he is dedicated to doing his physical therapy and trying to get himself rehabilitated. But it's not going to happen if, he's in, if he does have to end up doing the kind of things that we're blessed to have been for. Talking about green hay, I just tossed some over just for a little treat. Look at the dust cloud that was created when everyone come running over to get a bite of green hay. Uh, Ringo, so listen what I should have done. I tossed, four, there's four flakes of green hay right there. And I, I didn't divide them up the way I should have. I'm going to get a little bit more because there ain't no one going to be able to share with Ringo. He's not in the sharing mood right now. Even though he's allowing them to have little bites, at some point the devil will get into him. And that's the last of, there he goes. There comes the devil. That's the devil. Annie will spit. Annie will spit, Ringo. She'll spit the devil right out of you. I'll tell you what, that is one thing that Megan does better than anybody, including Jamie, cleaning up after all these darn chickens. Look how clean that little barn is. Megan works her tail off over there. I will give that to Megan. She makes it a personal mission to keep all the chicken poop off all of the areas she keeps that all sprayed out and raked out and mucked out. And this barn here has never looked as good. It has never looked as good as what it does now that Megan's here all the time. Anyway, let me get that green hay for them. Look at here. I just tossed over a second round of green hay. Ringo runs over, kicks the piggies out of the way, punches them, punches them out of the way. Oh, by the way, to the sweet person, that insists that we give Ringo obedience classes. Guys, that doesn't work for billy goats. You cannot train a billy goat to be sweet. You can't. So I'm not laughing at your comment, but uh, okay, I, I did laugh at it. I'm not laughing at it now, but I did laugh at it because uh, that was just funny. <laughs> Dan, I'm sorry. That's about the dumbest thing I've ever seen Lance. up on this hill. No, 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 no. This is the coolest thing you've ever seen on this hill. I can't believe it's going so fast. How yeah, fast is that yeah, thing? Take a ride. Come on. Oh, I'm a little nervous about yeah, it. I know. Let me, let me... Come on, get some gas. Let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that better than Breeze? Oh, way better. Watch that high sand, but you can stay in the grass. You give us some throttle and it wants to go. Lance, it'll go 45 miles an hour. It wants to just go, Dan. Yeah. You give it a little bit of throttle and it goes. Billy, go. go down here in the grass and then go out like through my yard. Okay. Uh, but just be careful on that sand. The, the grass, it does Where's fine. The, the sand will get right you. Side, this the is top the throttle. One. That's your break. Just let go of the throttle if you go too fast. It's going gonna, it's gonna so to jet when you yeah. gas. <laughs> it's so darn fast. This is crazy, crazy fast. What's that thing called? Verla scooter. Let me see that. Verla scooter. Yeah. Dan, that is fast. Like, oh Lance, Lord, where's he going? Oh. All right, show me that again. All right. It's so right it's two wheel drive. It's all wheel drive right now. Both wheels are spinning. It's Both sure. Wheels are motors. <laughs> Push the button if you're on the pavement. You don't uh -huh. need that. Then just the button. Oh, wheel. okay. So you got, in a way, four-wheel drive, yet yeah, two-wheel drive. Yeah, also got turbo and eco. So you put, if you're, oh on, the, if you're not on, the, on the sidewalks in the street in the city, put on eco and you probably go all the way before. What's that miles. right there? Is that a speedometer? I have no idea what this is. Huh. All right, so I've driven the Argo back here to uh, the back 38.6, and I'm going to set my drone up and fly it around. I can see right off, though, the part of the property that Leo has not gotten to, which is only this section right through here. You can see the standing water. Well, my hand there, you can't. There's standing water 
And so what we will have to do, and this is a really neat idea, is Leo said once it dries up uh, later this summer, or if it doesn't dry, we may have to pump it dry. And he can come in there and use his bulldozer just to, uh, you know, kind of make a shallow pond. How many of y'all want to watch how we put this drone together? I'll put my camera down and we'll do a time lapse. This is really interesting. Y'all watch. All right, so this is my drone. This is the handheld. There's a screen and you can see what I see. As I fly the drone around, you can kind of see that I don't need, need uh, anything more than this handheld here. I can see right where I'm going. It shows me the altitude. It shows me everything that I want to see. And the drone is calibrated to come right back to me uh, in case of a low battery or in case of inclement weather. It can detect a lot of things. So you guys watch, I'm going higher, and now I'm gonna to try to switch hands, give me a second. And we're just gonna kind of fly right over the top. There's the wet, mucky part. And you can see just what I'm seeing. I made it go, we're at 65 feet high right now. Now, using my other, now I need two hands to do this the right way, but you can see I can kind of turn the drone this way over here, left and right. I can also go up and down, I can take the drone higher, I want to make sure I clear all of these trees. And then I can also tilt my camera like this here. So you can kind of get a lot wider scale. That's the record button right there. So now I'm going to actually be recording what I'm, what I'm flying over. I'm going to tilt the drone down right there. You can see the horizon and that's cool, but it takes away a lot of the view that you're trying to get, which is down below. So I like to tilt my drone right there where I can only see the ground level, not the uh, horizon off in the distance. I'm gonna put my camera down now and just take drone footage.
아름다운 그대여 oh, oh, I just feel so lucky oh, oh, 운명이라 믿어요 oh, 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 oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of flying a drone tutorial 101 class. Uh, what I do now is I'll take everything, all the wings, the wings, the propellers <laughs> out. I'll take off my propellers, take off the battery, and put it all back in the safety, in its safety device here. Put that back to protect my camera. And uh, if you take care of it, it lasts forever. I say that, I'm the guy who's had three drones because I've destroyed two of them. But uh, I will take great care of this one over here. It is my my best drone so far. A really neat, neat device. So you guys are not going to be mad at me, right? Last thing that I want to do before I leave is go love on my piggies a little bit. I got to love on my piggies. And there's no better way to love on piggies than to offer them a delicious snack. Trudy, I got some snacks. I said Trudy, not, oh my goodness. I did not call you, sweetie. I do love you, but listen, you don't eat eggs and Trudy does. Trudy, sweetie, I got some delicious eggs, baby. Mmm, yummy, daddy, she loves that. Gross. <laughs> oh, Trudy, such a sweet girl. Uh, there's the other pigs over there. I would go through there, but I'm afraid I'm going to have an issue with this one right here or that one right there. All right, eggs going in the pocket. I have eggs in my pocket. Ringo, do not start all that mess. Be sweet, okay? Can we be sweet? Look out. Sissy, be sissy, I'm so sorry he's being mean, Ringo. Buddy, I want to go see the piggies and get them an egg, okay? All right, I think that he's going to allow us to walk over and get the other babies an egg. I am watching behind me. Don't worry. I'm, Hi, Telly. Hi, sweetie. Hey, looky. Look at <clears throat> Yummy. Looky there. Oh, boy. Hey, I got an egg for you, too. Well, you can see that we've worked well into the night on this day. Uh, ben is off in Uvalde visiting family members. And so I volunteered to come down and get all the packages. So let me get around here a little bit. That says Lester Morrow right there. Oh, I bet I know what that is. That's not right there. I bet you it's some goldfish. I'll put my camera down for a minute while I load boxes, y'all. All right, look who's home. Come on, buddy. Everyone's happy to see Buddy. Trixie, you want to come out? Everyone wants to ask Buddy about his adventure that I'm a survivor. They're like, what'd you do over there, buddy? How was it? But he's like, get me out. I'm, gonna, I'm leaving. I'm going back. And it's crazy. Trixie, you going to get out or not? Trixie's like, I ain't getting out. I'm much of crazy. I want to go back over to, I will not get out and be a part of all this mayhem. I'm not going to be a part of the mayhem. And uh, Millie's like, come on, Trixie. Tell us all about your exact Get you down, Millie. You'll get mad. Oh, amazing. My oh, Trixie. Come on, sweetie. You got to get down, love. You can't stay in the truck all night, baby. Everyone wants to visit and tell, ask you about your day, sweet girl. Oh, Millie, you old mangy mud. I done told you to get down once, you flea bag. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Yeah, something like that.